welcome to this tutorial of the uh, race panel. Uh, you'll need an image from the internet and you can start off by making a uh, material with the image you got from the internet. In this case I have this image. I'm going to make a material and we'll edit a little bit the bitmap itself here. View image and then move these handles to crop the image. We just need the door itself not the white background which is not necessary. Make sure you click apply here. Now we can make a plane roughly the size of of the door. I'll just guess 2 feet by 16 inches wide. We'll make an adjustment uh, in a minute after we apply the map to this Make sure you can see it on the viewport by selecting these. Now as you can see the door looks a little bit long so we gotta make your square here. Press control when you make a square plane and place it in this corner so we can adjust this the height. The width seems to be pretty close so the height of the panel has to be adjusted. So select your panel and make it a little uh, less taller until you get that square in that corner. All right. Once we're done, we can uh, bring this uh, profile. This is another image from the internet, and this is what the panel looks like given a section view. We're going to crop this because we only need to draw this area. This is right where the center panel and the, uh, the sides meet. Once you apply this, we will also apply, we will show it on, on a small uh, box. I'll uh, rush this a little faster here and put, put the box right where we need to have it here. And then we can apply the map that will help us trace the image for our profile. Again, make sure it shows on your screen. Now I'm going to flip this over until it's in the right direction and we'll draw a line. You notice I'm using a corner to start, a corner type, and then uh, the drag type is a bezier. I'm sorry you can't see this because it's on a white background and the image is a little bit behind this square. So we can edit this. We'll move it out here and edit the, mo the nodes. And we'll make it look a little bit like I want here. Now making some changes here. Notice that this side here, I want this in an angle. And there's a reason for that later you'll see. But I don't want to go flat on this end yet. You know, a few adjustments here and there. Also on this left hand corner, I don't want this to go on a square shape. I want it at an angle as well. Because the very ends are going to be pulled back and I don't want lines crossing each other. So that's why the angle lines are there. Now let's place this profile right where it needs to be. We may need to adjust it a little later. Now we're going to draw a line of the shape of the panel, of the curve of the panel. And uh, again we will adjust this as we go along. You may find panels that have, uh, you know, that are much wider which uh, are going to make it easier on this curve. But this one, I chose this one because it's a very short curve over here and when the short curve meets uh, a quick uh, turn, like an angle, the lines cross each other. And I will show you what happens so that we can adjust that. And this, I found that it's the easiest way to do it. Because there are many other ways to do this. In fact, I, using the uh, 
the uh, hinge from uh, from edge is a much better method, but it's 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 when you need to be very accurate. So in this case, we're going to move this over here and move the uh, nodes here so they match the end here. All right. Now we're ready to to create our profile. So select this line you made here, and we'll apply um, sweep. The sweep modifier comes usually on an angle by default, but select custom section and pick. So you can pick your own. Um, profile. So there we have it. Now we got to make sure the profile is facing in the right direction. So it, this looks like it's a little bit upside down. You look over here, they don't match exactly the same way. So we can fix that on the uh, parameters of sweep. Down here, first thing, you may want to flip the image. In this case, I think we should flip up and down on Y. So uh, flip the image on the Y axis and that looks like it. Now we just need to align it. So it may be this one. Oh, this one, well a little closer. Now that's better. And that's that's the one we want. That's pretty much where we, we have it. So look at this corner we're going to fix this corner later. This curve is fine, but the, the, the corner is not right. Before we do this, let me look the whole thing. And we're going to make it uh, a mirror image. We can create the entire panel this way. Now, I just want to look at the lines. This looks pretty good, so I'm going to turn off sweep so we can see the two lines. First thing we're going to do is attach one to another one. Select one line and then click on attach. Select the other line and deselect and attach again. Now they are one piece, but you need to weld the these nodes, these vertices. So select both of them and, and weld them. These are too, a little too far apart, so we'll put them a little closer to each other. Select both of them again and click on Weld. So now we have it. We can now turn on uh, our sweep again, and we can see the whole thing. So looking good. Now we have to correct this corner. We'll convert the whole image into a poly, then select edge, select one of these edges and click on ring. That selects all of them and we're going to connect with maybe three, say OK. And we also need to select this line here. So select one of the edges and click on loop, then apply the FFD 3x3 three three modifier and select the control points. You can move these points up. This modifier allows you to to move all of the lines together and preserving the curvature. So we'll do the same thing on this side here. Select one edge, select ring, and then connect with three lines. Then let's apply it in Or select all four lines, then apply the FFD 3x3 three three. on control points, move them up where you need them. I mean, look, sometimes you have a little problem down here, a little crooked line, so we can adjust that too. All right, so we're done. Now, 
remember I, in the beginning I made the edges kind of uh, on an angle and I'm going to show you why that was important. Oh, these corners are smooth here, they should be sharp. So you can select that line with loop again and then apply chamfer. When you apply chamfer, make sure you make this zero value and that will make it sharp. And uh, so you do this with all the corners you need to show them sharp. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Now select the edge here, and you can select the whole edge of the piece here. And pull back by holding on control. This will extrude those lines to the back. And that's the reason why I had them in an angle, because I didn't want to pull back and then cross over other lines. Select this and deselect these three sides. Just select the top and we'll extrude. And it should extrude on, on a straight line. Just go about this area and apply and while these are still selected, these polygons, use this wonderful tool make planar. In this case probably it's on Y. So let's move this back to where it means to be. Now we can select the edges. Both sides could be selected at the same time here. And we extrude. Again extrude just about what we need to have him on the edge here. We'll have to compromise here. This picture is not perfectly centered. Okay, so apply this. Now we can select the bottom. And we'll extrude the same distance of the sides. We don't have to change that. And we're done here. All right, it looks pretty good. Now the other thing is we we will need to select the back side, all the polygons on the back side. So take your time when you do this. Don't miss anything and don't select anything other than the back. So all these polygons can be selected and delete, just remove them. Now we can apply to the object of the modifier to close this window here. And you close this with cap holes. And we're almost done. A quick render shows the edges straight. All right, you find the edge of the door on the internet, and there are so many different ones. I like this one. Now the edge has to be touching the edge of our object here, so make sure that's right at the edge of the uh, border we're going to use. Now we need, a, we need a line to go around this, this whole door. Right, let's convert this to uh, poly again by collapsing it. Select edge and click on edge and then control loop and select all around our edge. Once you're done with that, we will apply, we'll, well, you can create a, a separate line, of course, make it linear and give it a, a name if you want. We can select that back from here, that's this one, and we'll apply 
sweep again select your custom section pick and here we have that one and we're done and as usual sometimes it doesn't quite look like we have it in the uh, on this on this view on the top view so we're going to use the parameters of sweep to change the direction and the match the image and since we have the line just where we want it it should match exactly in the same spot by changing these uh, parameters so align the pivot until you get it right <coughs> and that's good now when you render sometimes let me change this to blue when you render this image you may not see sometimes one of these profiles we made like in this case it's, it's invisible and that's because the normals faces are in the wrong side so change that by using normals on this modifier make sure it's on flip normals and you should see it all right and that pretty much concludes um, how to make the door you can convert to poly and then uh, put these two together you know attach one to the other and we're done so on the next part you can add the wood map and thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe